Good day everyone. I'm kind of putting this together in a couple of videos that Randy J did on cast iron and I found pretty interesting. I'll post a link to his channel down before. He's got a he's got a pretty good channel. So there's a lot of different things. Some of you probably already subscribed. I can't remember if I found him through Bill Gowdy or who, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. And those are some of my cast iron frying pans I've collected over the years. I'll probably pull a few of those out that I'll talk about a little bit. Some I won't bother, but some I will. These are just pots, Dutch ovens, that I've bought over the years. This one here is kind of interesting. And uh, let me turn it towards the light. Maybe that'll work better. That's not a cover. Whatever that thing is, that's what it was made for. There's no writing on it. It's seen some heat in its day. I don't know if it was meant to hang out over a fire, or like to cook eggs on, or pancakes. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it is. Then I have a... I'm hoping you can read that. I don't know if you can or not. A Griswold waffle iron. That's not a high interest to me. I won't say I wouldn't try it someday, but I never have. Anyway, that's that's what that is. Next is just kind of a old skillet. Nothing on that either. I should clean it up one of these days. This one I really like. It's got a mark on the bottom there, and it says number five. I do believe it's old. I don't think it's a Taiwan reproduction, but I like that pan. I'm going to clean that up and use it. I don't have a cover that fits it, but I do have one that would work. That does say number ten on it too, but it sets down in there. And Randy was talking about one similar to this. You have that's an interesting old pan pot. The cover that I'm using, the one I just have in my hand fits this one better. Um, the cover fits. Oops, fits it better. But no, it's not that one. It fits. Excuse me. But that's a nice small little oven, but I don't have a I don't have a cover for it. This one says 13 on it. We'll look at the bottom. And there again it says nothing, but it appears somebody painted it. <coughs> it's a nice handle to take a hold of. This one's not old. That one's not old. Ah. Uh, Six, maybe. Um, it does say something on the bottom. Probably made in Taiwan. No, it doesn't. It says made in USA, number 10, 12 and 5 eighths inch. But I don't know who it was made by. It doesn't say. Uh, that one belonged to my mother. She used to cook donuts in it when I was a kid. And uh, she kept her lard in it, cooked donuts. And then she had flowers planted in it, I think. Anyway, it's, that one's not old. But that's, that's it for the Dutch ovens that are in this building. And if anybody tells you that I'm a hoarder, don't believe them. This here pan's kind of interesting. Don't even know where I got that one. Um, I think it belonged to my grandmother. I have to ask my mother. I think it belonged to her great grandmother that my grandmother had it. And they used to make cornbread in it. And it shouldn't be stored out here, but anyway, they are. This one here has got nails in it, so it's a little hard to turn over, but I'll dump nails in there. For 
for the moment. Probably just made everybody sick. This one's heavy. There again, I don't know. There's nothing on the bottom. But it's a real heavy pan, but it's badly pitted. It's probably just decoration type stuff. <laughs> 